Okay, so hello everyone. Hi. Um, I'm going to go over the microscope with you right now, so I'm going to go right into it. These are the parts of the microscope and the things that they do, so you should be familiar with these, okay? We're going to start out with the basics, okay? We got the power cord, I've got it plugged in. This right here is called the power switch that turns on and off the light. Now, the light comes through this flat platform called the stage. And if you look closely, you may or may not see this, but there's a little glass window there that's called the stage opening where the light comes up through, through your specimen and then you can look at it through these lenses. Okay, so the stage, we've got the light. Now you can control the light with this little dial on the side of the stage called the diaphragm. There's little numbers there, it goes from one to five. When you go up to five, that's the brightest setting. And so you can adjust the amount of light with the diaphragm. If you've got something that's really transparent, like let's say a dragonfly wing or something like that, that's kind of see-through, um, or small microscopic plants called diatoms, or algae, I guess, um, one-celled organisms, if, you, if they're pretty transparent and you turn the light all the way up, the light will become so bright you won't be able to see them. So in order to see details, oh, there's a mosquito. In order to see details, you have to um, you have to bring the light down so you can adjust the amount of contrast. It helps you to see things. Okay, all right. So let's go up to the top. You may or may not. Let me slide it forward a little bit. This right here is called the ocular lens. It's got a magnification of ten. Okay, or that's also the eyepiece, but the ocular lens may be the choice on your final. Okay, the other lenses are called the objective lenses. We've got low power, medium, and high power. Each one of these has a number on the side that tells what its magnification is. If you wanna know how much something is magnified, you look at the number on the objective lens that is facing your specimen, and you look at the number here, which is 10, and you multiply them. So the blue lens has a 40 on the side of it, and this is 10, so the total magnification would be those two multiplied together, 40, times 10, 400. If I put it down on this red one, the low power lens, its magnification is four. So that times 10 is 40. So under low power, it's 40. Under high power, it's 10 times that much, 400. Okay, so we've got the stage here, which is where your slide is going to sit. Your slide and specimen are going to sit on this stage. Now, when I turn this, you can see that this right here is the, um, well, I'm not sure what we would call this, uh, so don't worry so much about this, but this is the platform or the part that holds your slide in place. You pull this back, you set your slide in against this little corner, and then you just ease this until this touches the slide and the tension holds it in there. Some of you may have uh, learned on microscopes where there were little steel, uh, like spring clips that sat on top and you would move the slide with your thumbs. This is a little bit more, uh, a little bit more, uh, what's the right word to use? Uh, a little more accurate because the way that you move things back and forth or up and down is with these two little chrome knobs here and these are called the stage control knobs, okay? Now, let's work our way back. This is called the body tube, okay? And then the focus knobs are this one and this one. This is called the coarse focus knob, C-O-A-R-S-E. Like something is very coarse, like if you have sand and it's really fine, or you can have sand with little pebbles in it and little chunks of rock, that would be considered coarse, okay? So what that means is, is it doesn't adjust very fine, it adjusts big time. So see when I turn this back and forth, see how the stage moves up and down fast? That's how you start out when you're focusing. This one isn't tensioned properly, so the stage is lowering, so I need to get this one fixed. Okay, so we've got the coarse focus knob, and then the fine focus knob is this small one. Okay, I think that's every part. So now I'm gonna go through uh, how to focus this microscope real quickly. You, uh, you take your specimen and you put it on the slide. You make sure that, first of all, you start out on the low power objective, that it's on low power. You lower the stage as far as it will go with the coarse focus knob, turn it away from you, and it lowers till it clunks. 
Then you carefully put your specimen on. I'm not going to do that, but I'll just say I did. And then in order to focus, what you do is you take the coarse focus knob, the big one, turn it towards you till it clunks, and then, then you look through the ocular lens and you see if you can see your object. You can, you're going to have to focus a little bit up or down until you get it nice and focused. Then what you have to do is whatever you want to look at on higher power, you have to get it centered. Ignore this that I'm lowering this. Okay, you get it centered in the exact center of your field of view, which is what you see. And then you just turn this knob without turning any focus knobs. You turn the, this is the nose piece. That's one more thing I didn't mention. The nose piece is where these lenses are located, these objective lenses. The nose piece, you turn it till the blue lens, the high power lens, is facing down, clicks in place, and then you look through. It's not going to be perfectly in focus, so what you have to do is you have to slowly turn the fine focus knob, not the big one, the small one, slowly turn it away from you until your object starts to come into focus. If the stuff that you see is becoming more and more blurry, then maybe this microscope isn't quite set up right, and you have to, you may have to reverse the direction and turn the fine focus towards yourself until something comes into view. Always start out turning away because it's the safe bet and most of these are properly adjusted to turn away to, to fine focus under high power. Now when you're done, if you've, you're done with the lab, what you do is you will lower the stage, you'll turn the nose piece to where the low power lens is facing down, turn off your microscope, Pull back this spring arm, remove whatever slide might be on there, set it aside, let the spring arm slowly back down, okay? And then you're done. Then you unplug the microscope, wrap the cord around the base, put the dust cover back on, and then this says 94-16, or is that 10? 10, okay. So what you do is you look for the cubby on the side of the room that has the number 10 on it, and that's where this one goes. Each one goes according to the number on the shelf so that they're always in the right place. And they're usually, if we were in normal instruction mode and everybody was here, each one of you would have a seat number that would correspond to the microscope you use. So you'd use the same microscope every time you use do a microscope lab, okay? So that's it. So after you've watched this, if you have any questions at all, be sure to ask me during class or come in during office hours, okay? So that's it for the microscope for now. For those of you that have had a chance to use the microscopes that have been attending school, I'm really glad you have. Those of you that have not, um, if we go back to normal instruction next semester, I want you guys to start making arrangements and I'll do some microscope makeup labs so you can come in and learn that skill. It's a really important skill to be able to naturally be able to use the microscope because you will be asked to do that in college most likely. All right, so I wanna teach you those skills so that if people ask you, I don't want them to ask you, did somebody teach you how to use a microscope? I want them to ask you, who taught you how to use a microscope? You, you're pretty good at this, okay? So it's on me and now it's on you. So make sure you follow through those of you that are only online, okay? You need to learn these skills. If you're online next semester, there's really not much I can do for you other than show you. Okay? All right. So God bless, study hard, and do well on your finals or whatever it is that you're doing. This is supposed to apply anytime, but we are going into finals pretty soon. So that's what I'm going to say to you now. All right. All the best. And we'll talk soon.